Hello, welcome back to Choose and Hobby. My name is Martin and today uh, I would like to talk a little bit about CX10 series um, drones. Um, I got some emails and messages uh, that um, some of your drones are not flying stable and um, or the um, uh, for example you cannot um, uh, take off right and because the motors are trying to spin uh, but they do not spin the sort of um, trying to turn but they cannot and most of that happens uh, because of the crashes and crashes are something uh, natural so there are two ways quick ways to solve the problem uh, normally this helps first is you have to pay attention to the um, to your um, uh, propellers right so uh, be sure that uh, propellers are not are not bent right and they are in the right places what I say by saying right places if we turn this drone on we'll see that um, blue lights are the front and the red lights are in the back so you have to pay the uh, attention to so-called A and B propellers um, this is how they are called in the manual uh, normally they are called clockwise and anti-clockwise uh, propellers so um, this is the back and um, this is the front so um, you have to pay attention to the angle of the propeller there are two types so to be sure that they in the correct places so this is one thing and I'll show you a little bit later what are the differences and another thing is um, basic and simple uh, gyroscope uh, calibration right so uh, it helps to solve many problems especially when the drone does not hover in the same place it drifts away to the right left forward or backwards or when the motors are trying to spin uh, in the beginning when you're trying to, uh, to, uh, to, to um, uh, when you pair to your drone and you want to fly it, they're trying to spin but they sort of like the feeling is that they, they stuck in this case normally gyroscope calibration solves the problem and it is pretty easy to do all you need to do you have to place the drone onto the flat surface to be sure it's flat and nice right then turn on the drone your transmitter and that's done pair them up so wait until the the lights stop flashing and then all you need to do is to push the left and right stick um, to the bottom right for a few seconds and wait until you see the lights flashing okay the lights are flashing let it go and wait until the lights stop flashing stop flash sorry and they just stopped it means the um, uh, gyroscope calibration was performed successfully so this is how easy it is done and normally it would solve all these problems and it is exactly same procedure with uh, with uh, uh, CX10 D turn on your drone place it on the um, uh, flat surface turn on the transmitter pair them up and then before you do the um, gyroscope calibration you have to get to the third speed mode right so we have uh, three modes three flying modes so uh, if we press the um, throttle on the left we have to hear uh, three beeps it means we have to um, to be in the third fly mode and we do exa exactly the same so let's try one more time it's mode number one mo mode number two and three beeps mode number three and we do exactly the same the flights uh, the lights uh, started to flash let it go and wait until the lights stop flashing and that's it the gyroscope calibration uh, was uh, uh, performed successfully so uh, this is how easy it is and now I'll show you a um, few things with the um, with the propellers themselves so you know how to install them correctly alright so let's have a look so um, 
And let's suggest you want to replace some of the some of the propellers because they were broken or bent and how to do that sometimes we are confused where is the front where is the back so it is very easy to do that remove all the propellers and then what you can do you just can turn on the transmitter uh, uh, the drone I'm sorry and uh, you will see the red lights and red lights are indicating the back right and then you can put red lights so put the back facing you right and it's pretty easy the uh, top left motor spins clockwise so clockwise so this is the uh, left uh, top uh, motor which is spinning clockwise it's going this direction right uh, and uh, top right motor spins anti-clockwise it's going this direction and it's pretty easy because the opposite two motors normally spin same direction so top left and bottom right motor motors are spinning same direction they are spinning the clockwise and then top right and bottom left they are spinning as well same direction but they are spinning anti-clockwise so this is what we have to pay attention to the to the blades we're using so we have here um, two types of the blades exactly they are here and if you have a look they look very similar on the first first view first first sight if you have to uh, if, you, if you have a look you think they're pretty similar but uh, they are not uh, they are two separate um, different two different uh, propellers one is clockwise and this one is anti-clockwise because if we have a look the shaft the shaft here goes up and here from uh, here from uh, I would say from um, left side goes to the right side and here from the right side goes to the left right so these two so please do pay attention to them so this one here this one here is clockwise and this one is anti-clockwise right so clockwise should go to the clockwise motors and clockwise motors if you remember is top left uh, and bottom right so let's put it them here so we found one motor which is uh, one propeller which is clockwise then we can find another one and this is another clockwise and it's very easy to check you can just put them to each other to be sure they are same and they they look exactly same it, the the shaft goes from the left to the right and if you remember these two motors opposite across each other are spinning same direction so it goes here and then we are left with two anti-clockwise and anti-clockwise normally is on the top right and bottom left and that's it let's try All is working good.